Hi, I'm George, and we'll be looking at how to use the Photoshop Elements Actions and also how to use the scripts from Elements Plus. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's just get this scripts out of the way first, and we'll start off with the actions. They're right here. Now to find the actions panel, go up to window and come down here and they're right there where it says actions. In here there are a bunch of pre-recorded actions you can run on your image. Let's just switch over here to layers. What I normally like doing whenever I'm doing anything like this is to start off with a copy. So I'll right click on this and duplicate layer. There we go. Make a copy. I'll work on that just in case something goes wrong. Now there's not that much here with Photoshop Elements Actions which is why I normally don't talk about these they're really not that extensive. Now for actions or scripts to work out well, you either need to have the ability to record your own actions, which is great, you can't do that here, or you need a large selection of pre-existing scripts to run. Now in here, this is everything in the Photoshop Elements actions. Bottom borders, lose weight, it just makes the image a little bit thinner. Resize and crop, a couple of these are useful, and some special effects things, which are really not that great. We'll take a look at the much more advanced, much more useful Elements Plus in just a moment. But let's just show you how this stuff works. To do one of these bottom borders, for instance, just click on the action right here and then hit that play button. It then plays that action and it adds one inch to the bottom of the image. Now, how large this is going to be will depend upon how big your image is. Obviously, this one is not that large because it's a pretty tall image. To undo this, I'll just go up here, do edit and undo canvas size and it fixes that one. Pretty straightforward. Same thing with all of these. Let's just do one of these. I'll do a 5x7 center crop. Hit the play button. It just crops it down to that size image. Notice that it didn't change the image size of the picture itself. It just cropped the overall canvas down to that size. Okay, let's just undo that canvas size. Now there are a few things you can do in here. You can get rid of these if you want to. Just hit the trash can. You can delete it out of your list. Also this little icon right there you can load in more actions. Let's just bring this up. Now, these are going to be called ATN files. Notice the Elements has one set right here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. You can see it right down here as well. Now, the thing about the ATN file is it's a special kind of file format that simply holds these actions. And if I open up one of these things in here, let's find one that has a lot of stuff in it. There we go. These actions are a series of pre recorded steps. You know, lots of settings in there. So it goes through a lot of steps to run one of these things, and the ATN file will have all that stuff saved as an ATN, and you can then come in here and simply load that in. Now, there aren't very many actions that can be loaded in, very many sets that can be loaded into Photoshop Elements. Okay, so that's the basic look here at working with Photoshop Elements Actions. Again, it's a great tool. I love actions over in Photoshop. I don't like them so much here in Elements just because it's so limited, as you can see. Now, Elements Plus plugin, and I'll bring up that website here in just a second, that has a lot more available. Now, there are two things you'll find in here. One, if you go over here to the same little icon, you see it says Elements Plus right down there. Let me just show you what this does. I'll bring this up and get a whole bunch of these little sections down here added in. These aren't actually actions like we've seen up here. What these do is they simply load in the different sections of Elements Plus. So that's the section over here if you happen to have Elements Plus installed. So color and tone loads in this section. Selections loads in this section and so forth. So that's what that does. Again, it's not directly going to be adding in additional actions, but it brings up these sets. I'll show you real fast here. If you click on color and tone and run that, all that does is simply brings up the color and tone tools from Elements Plus. So they're not really actions in that set. So I never actually use that. I just use it from over here on the effects panel. Okay, before we move over to working with these scripts, which is right here, I want to first show you the Elements Plus website. I'll go ahead and I'll bring that up. Here we are. Here's the Elements Plus, and it's at elementsplus.net. You can see it right up there. And there are separate versions of this for every version of Photoshop Elements, simply by the version that matches your current version of Photoshop Elements. And this brings in a lot of additional functionality and really gives you a tool or a program that runs much more like 
Photoshop does, Adobe's Photoshop program. And that's because a lot of this stuff is actually in Elements. It's just kind of hidden so you can't easily get to it. So it brings in a lot of these different tools in here. And one of those, of course, is the scripting. And that's where we have something which is similar to Photoshop Elements Actions. And they're right down here. Here's all the scripts. Take a real fast look at the very top of here. There is a download demo, but it's a limited demo. It only has a few things that run, but it's okay to go ahead and try that out. But the full version is only $12. There it is. It's very inexpensive and it adds a lot into your program. The only downside is that there is no upgrade path on this. Whenever you upgrade or switch to a newer version of Elements, you'll need to buy the correct version of Elements Plus to go along with it. But again, $12 is not that big of a deal. I buy this every single year when I upgrade my version of Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And as you just saw a moment ago, these scripts are right here. There's a little kind of an apple on a page. And there's a lot of these. Favorites, some batch optimized scripts, commands, data-driven graphics, edges, events, files, landscapes, photo effects, a whole bunch of stuff, even a miscellaneous down below here. So lots and lots and lots of stuff in here. On the right hand side, you can add or remove a category and that's these categories in here. So you can add or remove those categories if you want to. This button runs the script. Simply choose a script you want to run, hit the play button, it then runs that. The plus here adds a script to the E plus catalog. So you can import scripts. This one adds a script to your favorites. Let's close it just for a second. Come down here, bottom right hand corner, and here's your favorites. And in here you can come in and place in things that you tend to use all the time. I have a few of the ones that I tend to use in here quite a bit. Just get that out of the way. Back over to our effects and bring that back up again. Right here, you can add this script to the effects palette and down here, add to batch. You can make a droplet. What that basically does is it puts it as an icon on your desktop. Kind of a nice time saver. Down here, information about the script. You can rename the script if you want to, and of course you can delete scripts. Now the one thing that we don't see in here, which is too bad, is the ability to record scripts. I wish it had that, but it doesn't. So even with this, you can't record your own actions or your own scripts. That'd be very nice, but we don't have that inside of Elements. But what we do have is a huge collection in here of pre-made scripts. As I was mentioning at the beginning, actions are useful if you either are able to record your own or you have a large enough collection to choose from that you'll find things that are useful in there. And that's what we have here with the Elements Plus. Let's just go down through some of these quickly here. Favorites, here's some batch options. Focus stacking, I'll be doing a separate video about that pretty soon. Frequency separation, I'll be doing a separate video about that pretty soon as well. Batch optimized, so you can do scripts on a whole batch of images. Very useful different commands in here, you know, standard adjust brightness, minus 10, adjust brightness, up 10, doing different edges in here. I'll actually show you a couple of these things. Here's a film edges, for instance. Click on the script, hit the play button right there. It runs that script, and there we go. There's the film edges applied. Let's go over here to the layers, and you see it actually made a copy of the layer up here. It made a mask right there and kind of put the image on top. Now if I hit the Control Z key, which is undo, it undoes that whole script, all those steps at one shot. Let's get this image back up here to fit screen. That's better. And back to our scripts. So a lot of these in here. Hand stitching, I kind of like this one, it's interesting. Real nice one for scrapbookers. There we go, if you're doing scrapbooks, kind of a fun little stitch thing. Looks like it's actually been stitched onto some denim. So there are a lot of great little scripts you can run in here that can add a lot of interest onto your image. That's just these edges. We'll keep on going down here. Different file options, some specific options in here for working with landscapes, such as boosting clouds, putting in a fake sun, adding a mist effect, different photo effects, adding in film grain, dodge and burn. Some interesting randomized things right there. Resize options. Fit print, fit area, extend canvas, some sharpening adjustments, slices. There's the text effects. Quick shadow in here or a quick reflection for text. Those are two fun uses. And then a few tweaks in here. Just some tweak options you can tweak your program with. And some miscellaneous things like converting this into a disk label or easy clipping mask. Now this is a useful one right here. Edit in ACR. ACR is 
Adobe Camera Raw. So normally when you want to edit inside a camera raw in Photoshop Elements, you have to go up to the file menu and choose open in camera raw and then choose your picture. It opens it up over there and then once you're done there, it dumps it over here into Photoshop Elements. You can't kind of go backwards, but you can right here with this one. Again, this is in miscellaneous utilities, edit an ACR. This will bring this into the camera raw editor right here inside of Elements without having to reopen it. So very useful. Just take a look at just one more of these things. Here's this disk label. Hit the play button. There's a fun one. There you go. It just sticks on a disk label for you. And let's do the control Z key on that. And back to our scripts. The very last one down here. There's just a ton of stuff available here inside of the scripts. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And of course, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's the link right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.